So now we look at how we can display the data dynamically using a function. So what we can do in the text method is we can actually, instead of giving it a string of what to display, we can actually pass in a function and we can tell it what to do with the data in the array. So in this example, instead of giving it the text updated item, what we could instead do is convert this into a function and the input of this function can be just anything but it's meant to represent each item in the array so I'm going to call it thing and then what we do is we just basically tell it what to return so if we just return the, the element itself it appears on our list like this now we don't just have to do that we can call other methods to this data to present it however we want so this would put it into uppercase for example And I'm going to put that back now. And if we apply this to both the current list items and new list items, we've basically transferred this array of elements into this list right here. So in this example, what it does is it just basically takes the item and just returns the item exactly and then puts it as a text in the selection. So what it wants us to do is it wants us to change the text so this part here so that each of the header two elements contains the number from the dataset array with space and then USD next to it. So what we would do here is we would turn this into a function and we would pass in the array item. And what we want to return is we want to return the exact value of the item in the array with a space and then USD next to it, like so. And that should be all we need to do, so we're gonna try the test now. Great.